Yeah, I was gonna do, is this video recording, Brad? Is this video recording? Yes, I'm actually recording the video and my audio, and everything seems to be going correctly. What? No. What? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay, enough of that. We are here once again playing Asago, uh, Asagao Academy Normal Boots Club. Uh, this is Evil Guacamole Gaming. I am the Devil's Avocado, and I am joined by the always w wonderful and lovely Maggie. And I sound like no, I want something. No, no, you can't. I gotta. I don't know when to. Okay, I'm Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. All right. I. Uh, that's why we're. I'm doing advanced technology called separate recordings. Yeah. That way, that <laughs> that way I can just like it won't even seem like I'm talking over you like a rude asshole or a man. <laughs> I am the Devil Side Ricardo, and I am joined by the always w wonderful and lovely Maggie. I sound like I want something. No, no, you can't. I gotta... It won't even seem like I'm doing a man. Asshole. Yay. I'm Maggie. Which I want to point out is something that I had been offering to do for a really long time was record my audio along with it so that it would be preserved if anything went wrong. And then, you know what <laughs> happened? Something went wrong. And instead of redoing all this, Brad could have just recorded the video of him clicking through the game while we spoke, while listening to our audio, which probably would have had much more genuine reactions. But let's not yes. get into it. <laughs> well, no. See, you were right. I, I'm okay with accepting that you were right <laughs> and that is why now that's what I want to be doing yes. like I, I think it really hit home when I was experiencing the the lost tape type thing yeah it was like which like oh. I said it's not too bad on my end because it's been so long since we played this um, that I'm actually not too like I, I feel like most of this is like I know I've played it before but it's like I don't want to say it's new again, like, it's just like, oh, I kind of forgot about it, you know? And so it's like, oh, yeah, I'm having some genuine reactions to stuff, but... Yeah, it's fresh at the very least. Yeah. But anyway, so. <laughs> we're on a tight schedule today, so... Yeah. Chop, chop. Oh, okay. it's my line anyway. It's always mm -hmm. my line with this game. Hey, your cookie will get cold if you don't eat it. I unwrapped the cookie. Sense of chocolate and cinnamon hit me. I broke off a piece and popped it into my mouth. Gerard whispered something into Nick's ear who started laughing so hard milk came out of his nose. Was he really okay with people making fun of him? I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe it. At my old school, people made fun of me every day. It was hell. There was no way he could just brush it off like that. Not when I tried so hard to do the same. But. As I finished the cookie and started on my ramen, and Gerard continued to laugh with the rest of normal boots, I wondered whether it was as impossible as I always thought. Mm. Hana, could you pass me some pepper? I need some spice from your direction. <laughs> I, I, I got it! Here, Jared, senpai. Uh, thanks. Who's... What's your name again? Oof. It's... It's my... Uh, your your future... Future... Mrs. Pro? <laughs> nice. Sweet. Thanks, my... No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Anna, you ready to head back and contemplate uh, the destruction 
<laughs> the inevitable heat death of the universe and huh? longing for it. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Did mine look sad or did I just imagine it? We threw our trays on the racks and headed out of the cafeteria. As we waved to normal boots and Gerard cheerily waved back, a sudden pang hit my stomach. Was it guilt? After class ended that day, Mai said she had volleyball practice and sped off. Thankfully, this time I knew where I was going, so I headed straight back and collapsed on my bed. It was nice to have some time to myself. After everything that had happened, I felt like I was going crazy. I could use some relaxation. I didn't have a computer or a TV, and the book Satch gave me was really good, but sometimes got a bit hard to read. Instead, I took out my phone and started flipping through the app store. Hmm. Nothing really looked good. Wait, what was this? I set up. Dumpy Doom's Revenge. Face off against three other players as you catch monsters, raise them, and their use their unique skills to aid you on your puzzle-solving quest. Only you can save the meta world from its ignorant king and utter destruction. Now a single-player campaign. Raise crops to feed your monsters. If you're lucky, they'll transform into cute girls. <laughs> what the hell? It looks so stupid, but... It couldn't hurt to give it a try. I downloaded and started up the game. Welcome to Dumb and Dumb's Revenge! I skipped the intro sequence and quickly hit single player. Loading! The load times were terrible. Suddenly, a cartoonish hilly valley met my eyes, panning over to a white castle nestled next to a cliff. There was lots of very suspect-looking steamed burgers in it. A lazy king... <laughs> Sorry. Steamed white, burgers? White, white castle reference. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, white castle is probably the best freaking fast food in the world, but probably the least good for you. Like, I can't imagine that shit is good for you in any capacity. I don't know if you've ever had okay. it. When I lived in oh, New yeah, York. Oh, we, yeah. We've got it up here. Yeah. When, when we've I got lived, it up here. I kind of miss it. Like... When I lived in New York, it was it was everywhere, and we would eat it occasionally. And now I'm like, I have not had a White Castle burger since 2008. So, huh. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> haven't had one for longer. Uh, it, it never really was anything that was I was that big into. I want it back. Um, anyway, <laughs> a lazy king lay asleep on a throne when a squat silver soldier ran into the room. King Dumbadoo! Quickly, we're under attack! Oh, just send the first battalion off, please. I'm rather tired. The night left, and the screen faded to a world map showing a horde of black blobs on the right side of the screen. A small group of knights ran up against the blobs and were instantly devoured. One of the black blobs spit out a helmet and a, with a skull inside. What the hell is this game? Things, con morbid. <laughs> Things continued in this way, with the king sending off his battalions haphazardly until no one was left. Then the king awoke in his chair and turned to the screen. Yo! M me? Yes, Hannah, you! Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can save my kingdom, please! I don't think I can save your kingdom. You're the one menacing it. How dare you! What the hell? Could this thing hear me? You are no longer my advisor. Go back to your home village and let me deal with this myself. A tiny sprite with brown hair flew across the world map, bouncing into a bunch of red houses. I guess my only choice is to raise an army of monsters myself, overthrow the king, and then raise an army to fight the oncoming blue blue blue. Wow, the bloopity bloops was part of... <laughs> that That wasn't me making things up because I didn't feel like saying something. Sure was. How the hell did you come to that conclusion? Finally, I was allowed to play the actual game. My 
My eyes started to hurt and I looked at the time. Eight o'clock? It had been four hours? I had reading to do. I grabbed my textbook, flicked my radio on, and began to read. Uh, me or you? Uh, oh. Uh, yes, I, I'll do this. I think maybe you did it last time, but I'm give, totally give me your, Give it. me your best late night radio voice. <clears throat> there have uh, been many tales of times when <laughs> the moon has fallen on other planets. The most popular of these being the myth of Termina. However, these myths have never proven to be more than a hallucination. <laughs> My eyes. Oh, that was the. Oh, that was that was good. It was good. <laughs> My eyes. Blew. Also, Whoa, what? What? <laughs> if, if, if 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 you like tales about m moons crashing into Termina, click on this link for for some video of that. Mm. It's a game called Earthbound. You know what? I've never played that. I don't even know anything about it. It's like one of the most popular retro games ever, and I've just never, I've just managed to completely avoid it. And I really want I, I, to play it like on a Let's Play like blind with a guide but um i think you've already done it right no i've like i'm only as far as my let's play has gone oh, okay. uh, actually to be to be precise the whole reason i mentioned earthbound is because it's not um majora's mask which is obviously what they were referencing i've never Termina. played that either <laughs> oh okay yes that's the the whole moon crashing into Termina. that that's the whole plot to Majora's Mask, which of course is another game that I've been let's playing blind. That oh yeah. I'm only part way through. I've never so, played it either. But anyway. Um. Yeah. <laughs> my eyes blurred over my astronomy textbook and I yawned. The Schubert piece floating from my radio made me want to go to sleep, and I toyed with the idea of going to class without finishing my reading. Who cared how many times the moon was supposed to fall, especially when time travel was involved? Hannah! No! Maya burst through the door, flung herself across the room, and grabbed my radio. Hey, where have you been? What are you doing? That's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. We're missing it. Put in the knobs. I think I'd be better at this. There we go. <clears throat> But I swear, that dog was the living worst. <laughs> <clears throat> Forgot to warm up uh, my my New York. Forget about, forget about it. <laughs> I just gotta, I you just gotta stole, pretend. You stole that idea from me. <laughs> no, I didn't steal it. You gave it to me. Uh, if you, I'm if referencing. You... <laughs> if yeah. you're watching this in order, it's like, yeah, that was the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys, uh, uh, <clears throat> if you guys have seen the, it was, uh, it was, it was Mochi, right? Well, it wasn't just that that we were doing. I think it actually started in Lonely Wolf. Oh, did it? Maybe? Okay, so so my technique on as far as doing a uh, New York accent is that you just warm up for it. By going, forget about it, forget about it, forget about forget it. Forget about then, it. And then after that, you can talk in a New York accent. <laughs> I just got to channel Pepper, because Pepper was when I did it right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Are we killing cats or what? What, what you're singing? <laughs> That's so good. I hope that's out by then. Uh, <laughs> that's what you need. Uh, I have the r line wrong. My accent's all right. <laughs> that's why you need a bird like my lovely jocks. Speak for the people's jocks. Watch your tongue. What is this? <sighs> Shh! Oh Shut dear. up your mouth. The audio spike on that man. <laughs> so, uh, the time has come to make an official announcement. 
this year, just like every other year, the Normal Boots Club will be participating in the video game tournament. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> as PBG applauded as though he were a crowd of thirty people, I shot a puzzled glance at Mai. So that's why I was doing the circle clap. <laughs> like I could hear that in the audio. Like <laughs> I'm doing a circle clap. Like, I can hear it go back and forth. <laughs> Woo! Ah, I hope you guys will support us again this year. And best of luck to our competitors. Yeah. You guys are going down! <laughs> yeah. And now, for some music. My turn down the radio inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, what did you want? Um, what was that? Um, PB and J. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's PB, G, and John's radio show. They have a radio show? What do they do on it? What don't they do? Uh, you know, they talk, stuff, they play music sometimes. Yeah. Oh no, I need to stop making my sound like PPG. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in school listens to it. I'm so glad you brought your radio. I forgot mine at home. And a video game tournament? Yeah. Didn't you hear them talk about it the other day? No. Well, maybe you should pay attention to your friends. <laughs> um, no, Tay, you can't. Oh, oh, Tay, what? Uh, I have a cat. <laughs> I have a cat sitting in front of my monitor. This is this is a problem. Hold on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> this could be a catastrophe. We'll just have to pause the recording. Come to think of it, I hadn't paid much attention to their conversations. I was too worried about, too busy worrying about myself. Mmm. Uh -huh. Every year they have a game tournament at Higabana Banana Banana Rana Mall. <laughs> Lots of people come to compete, but everybody knows the real fight is between the Normal Boots Club and the Hidden Block Club. I don't know why I. Is that what they, they go do? Go with it. <laughs> Video game tournaments? Uh, yeah. That's why nobody's joined them since their inception. I need that sound effect in there. <laughs> Shum. Shum. Well, oh, sorry. Hey. There, it doesn't, well. there's, a, there's a cat head. I'm trying to push him down. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> well... I guess partly they're a group of friends who just happen to make a club together. But also, unless you're really talented, you just drag them down. Ouch. Not all of them are so harsh, but some of them, well... <coughs> Shane. <clears throat> Mike glanced away, but I felt like I knew who she was talking about. That's too bad. Wait, who is she talking about? Shane. Is this supposed to be about Jimmy? <laughs> the conversation I had before Jimmy and Caddy came to mind. Had they really thought I was joining the normal boots club? There was no way. I hadn't played a video game since I was a kid. My father gave me a 4DS when I left home, but... The night before I left home for Asagao, my, my dad came to visit me in my room. I had packed the few things I own into a briefcase and a single cardboard box set to be shipped with the train. I sat and stared at the box, somewhat bitter. I barely even needed it. I didn't own much. Hannah? Yeah, Dad? My father stood in front of me, a weary smile on his face. Even though he tried to hide it, I could see by the deep wrinkles around his eyes and forehead that he was tired, sad. The past few years had taken their toll on him, and I hadn't used things. 
You'll be leaving tomorrow. Yeah. A heavy silence hung between us, filling my childhood bedroom like styrofoam. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I am. He nodded and glanced around my room at the pale blue walls, the broken clock above my old desk, the scuff marks around the doorframe from where I ran into it as a kid. I... I gotta stop doing that. I, I keep right-clicking and it brings up the menu and I'm like, I can't read! <laughs> I lived in this house almost my whole life, ever since moving after kindergarten. It was everything I knew, but now it was too much for me. The decision to transfer to Asagao did not come lightly. First, it was a prestigious institution with a highly prized reputation. Only the best of the best, touting either great grades, impressive talent, or lots of money could get in. I was none of those things, but I made it in regardless. Part of me suspected I was a charity case. I received a small scholarship, and it would no doubt look good for the academy to have fostered a poverty-stricken child in its walls. And despite the fact that my father couldn't afford it, even with the scholarship, he guaranteed he'd support me if I went. I looked again at the wrinkles in his face, at his sagging shoulders. He pressed his hands against his body to hide the way that he, they shook. All for me. He'd be all alone. I'm glad you're going. I think this will be good for you. Yeah. I wished I could say something else, but nothing came. Well, honey, just in case you get homesick, I brought a present for you. Present? From his pocket, my dad produced a shining pink Gentendo 4DS and placed it into my hands. For you. But why? How? Dad, this costs so much. You're already killing yourself to let me go. Why would you... Tears spilled from my eyes as my dad smiled. <clears throat> Nothing is too good for you, my dear Hannah. His voice was trembling. You're my... <clears throat> you're my pride and joy. You deserve so much better than you've gotten from me. Dad. Go to Asagao. Have fun. Make lots of friends. And when you get homesick, you play with that. I'll make do. I stood up and hugged him, burying my face in his scratchy sweater and oatmeal smell. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, my little Hannah. <laughs> oh, sorry. But the thing is, he forgot to give me a cartridge to play with. Now I glanced at the machine, hidden behind my desk lamp. Mai watched me carefully. Okay, so I'm going to bring up one thing. Okay. So it's a 40S, um, which means that there's probably a switch that switches it from 3D to 4D. And when you switch it to 4D, it does the non-Euclidean geometry that brings forth the, the, the elder deities that exist <laughs> within <laughs> the squeamous... Oh yeah, I, I have that on my 3DS, actually. No. You just pay, <laughs> you just pay a little extra for it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah I don't know. A genuine Nintendo product there. Yeah. It's Gintendo strong. Yeah. It's Gintendo or nothing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we'll do what Gen don't. Um. <laughs> never. Uh, well, you never know what could happen. What? What do you mean? My giggled. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. But I just got back, so I've got work to do. <laughs> work, right? <sighs> PBG and I still had that project due, and we hadn't met to discuss it at all. He said he had it under control, but I should probably make a backup plan, just in case. 
It wasn't that I didn't trust him, it was just that, okay, I fucking don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. PBG is basically me, like, AU PBG is clearly me. Don't trust me. Don't trust me with a project. <laughs> Sighing, I worked a kink out of my shoulder. It looked like it would be a long night. Ugh, what was that noise? That is a noise for our next episode. <laughs> um, so... I see what you did there. Uh, yeah. Uh, we will get to that in the next episode, but for now, this is Evil Guacamole Gaming. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, Evil Guacamole Gaming. <laughs> I am the, the devil's um, avocado. And I'm, uh, I'm joined here <laughs> by the lovely stylings of... You're talking so low I can't actually hear you. <laughs> well, the problem is I'm talking low but also into the mic, which is not where you're hearing I me know, from. Right? <laughs> so, this, this is where you uh, uh, reintroduce yourself to... Th oh, <laughs> sorry, I was playing yeah. my Nintendo 4DS. And I'm bovine uh, design, Maggie. Those, yes. All those things. Uh, we'll, we'll see you for a very special episode um, here very soon. Thank you for joining us, and farewell. Bye bye We're both independent lesbians that don't need no man. Lesbians. Did I say lesbians? <laughs> <laughs>